One of the things I get asked frequently by people who are not in engineering is, what's the difference between digital and analog? And my answer is basically that digital is numbers. It's not volts, it's not current, it's numbers. So it doesn't matter what the method is of arriving at those numbers as long as you get the right numbers in the right time frame, of course. Analog's a lot different. Analog is voltage current real-time information. And any circuit that processes that has an effect on the signal going through it. So analog is not only a signal, it's the effect of the circuitry in the middle. And you can get to the analog output many different ways and depending on how well you do it, uh, your output precision is affected. So <clears throat> analog engineers have to be able to take an input signal and work on it and preserve the fidelity of that signal. That's one of the things that's difficult. It takes experience to know what goes wrong when it, you're not processing it, processing it properly. It takes experience to know what's going to happen to the signal as it goes through your electronics. And there are not a lot of places where you pick up that experience unless you're actually doing it. Analog engineers, if they're good, will always have a job. They're always in demand because I think part of being a good analog engineer is figuring out what you did wrong the last time. And as you accumulate that experience, you get better and better. One of the things that I think is really important is being able to find articles and information on circuits, how they work when they work right, and what some of the problems are when they work improperly. And it's not only the circuit, it's the layout, the construction, and the ability to have other electrical equipment interfere with your analog circuitry.